YouTube, what's good? Thanks for checking out the channel. This is Vinny Matthews and boy. Now, before we get into the video, did you guys see the latest clip of Birdman and Lil Wayne? Birdman finally apologized to Lil Wayne, man, and it does nothing but heals and warms my soul. Shout out to Birdman, shout out to Lil Wayne. But let's get right into the video now. Should Lil Wayne cut off his dreads? You guys seen the latest pictures, you guys seen the latest video, and I'm asking you guys this because as a dreadhead guy myself, I always wonder when will it be the day when I'd be like, you know what, it's time to cut it off. So let's argue. I'm going to give you guys the reasons for both sides if he should cut his dreads or if he shouldn't cut his dreads. Now say that if he does keep his dreads, it's understandable. He's had them since he was a youngin'. I can remember the first time I seen Lil Wayne, he had the little ush bush back in the cash money days. You know, back into the bling bling, back that ass up. Lil Wayne always had hair. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe back in 2004 is when he dropped the Carter One. And that's when we first saw the beginning of his dreadlock journey. So from 2004 to now, which is 2018, Wayne has roughly had his dreads about mm, 14, 15 years. Now in the dreadhead community, he's considered an OG. When I think of Lil Wayne, I think of dreads. They both go hand in hand like fat white girls and black guys. I don't know why black guys love fat white girls, but you know, let's get back into the video. Wayne's dreads is iconic. Everybody wanted to look like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne pushed the culture of hip hop and Lil Wayne was the wave when it came to dreadlocks. Now I know most of you guys, and most of you young guys will be like, oh no, Chief Keef started that. Trust me, I will tap into that into another video, but right now we're talking about Wheezy F baby, so shut the hell up and sit down. Now Wayne is at the age now where he's just like, you know what, I don't even care no more. I'm successful, I'm humble, I got all this money, why should I cut my hair? This is me. I am who I am. I get beautiful women. I have four adorable children and I am a legend when it comes to hip hop. Why in the hell would I cut off my dreads? He also lives in Miami. And if you haven't looked at Kodak Black or Gunplay or the niggas that be down south in Miami, this is the look that matted hair, the bigger the locks, the better. This is what they go for. So like, you know, why should he cut off his dreads? Now let's say he does cut off his dreads. I can definitely understand that because he's getting at that age when you know he's like, you know what, man? I've had these locks for a long time. I want something new. I'm about to drop the card of five. I got that money back from Birdman. This is a new Wayne, a new me. Gucci Man did it. Y'all niggas thought Gucci Man was a clone. And look at him now, successful and happier than ever. And no matter how much money in the world, nothing will stop baldness, man. Nothing will stop a receding hairline. Nothing. Look at Tiger. Tiger paid surgery for his shit. Safari did the same thing too, but you know, his didn't work out, but we're not going to get into that. Now look at LeBron James. LeBron James is worth millions, bro. Millions. And his hairline is still, ugh. So is KD. And look at Oprah. Oprah is worth billions of dollars, but she cannot stay skinny. Oprah over here looking like Bubble Bash from SpongeBob, but <laughs> we're not going to get on into that. What I'm trying to say is no amount of money in the world will stop genetics. In the end, Lil Wayne is an older man now. He's grown. He doesn't need the dreads. Maybe a fresh new look will do great for him. Maybe a fresh new haircut will spark people's interest. It'll get the media talking about him. And once again, all eyes will be on Lil Wayne. But, you know, that's not up to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment box below. Should he cut his dreads or should he keep them? Me personally, nah, you know, it is what it is. In the end, he's still a legend. So with all that being said, guys, like the video. This is Vinny Matthews, and I am out.